Hey guys, it's Richard with Dice University and in this video I'm going to show you how to build out a native ads campaign using the Outbrain traffic network. This video is brought to you by Landerize.com. Create highly optimized landing pages in minutes. Get your 14 day free trial in the description below this video. Okay, so right now I am inside of Clipbank. This is the traffic network that I'm going to be using for this specific um, watch me build. And essentially I'm now looking inside of the green product area of the marketplace. So if you're not sure if, about Clipbank and you've never used Clipbank before, they have a marketplace. You just select that in the top once you're logged in. On the left hand side, you can select green products if you want to do like alternative energy or conservation and efficiency or just general green products. Um, but I'm focusing on the alternative energy sub vertical um, for this specific watch you build and we're going to be doing solar. All right, so I'm going to teach you how to build out a campaign for the solar energy space. Now this is a huge, huge space, not just in ClipBank, but for multiple different CPA networks where you can run um, high value uh, lead generation offers. So these are lead generation offers that could pay out anywhere between 30 and $100 depending on the network or if you're going directly with an advertiser. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you exactly how you can build that out utilizing the Outbrain traffic network. All right, so the first step when you're building out a campaign is always around your offer research. You want to make sure that you're running the correct offer for the specific campaign and everything is well aligned. So um, the first thing that I would do is I want to look through here and I want to look for any offer that is related to solar all right so that's related to solar so i can even do a search here i believe and this could help and let's go by not by q evidence go by gravity okay so the search tool isn't that great so let's go back to alternative energy okay cool anyway so um go ahead rank by gravity and i'm not looking for all the offers that have solar um, in their description. So it works on energy slash solar. So let's take a look at this one. Make sure it's muted. My laptop is muted. Just because, you know, most ClipBank offers are utilizing VSLs and some VSLs are super aggressive where they have the videos automatically playing once a website has loaded. So um, yeah, I'm just prepping for that just in case because that can be super annoying. So um, let's have a look here. So this is another solar energy offer. And let's take a look. And this one is another one. And yeah, we'll just look at those three for now. All right. Um, so let's take a look here. So easy power plant. This crazy 45 year old geography teacher in Memphis, Tennessee, believed he could change the world. And somehow he did it. Okay, and then the, the VSL was talking about, I guess, how he did it utilizing solar energy. Um, okay, cool. So let's take a look at the second offer we pulled up. Okay, so this one is just straight VSL. There's no additional like headline or anything. Let's take a look at this one. Announcing super simple method lowers the cost of getting solar panels by 85%. Big energy, you know, that they, you know, you're battling, battling against that industry dinosaur, which is a very strong angle um, for any marketing campaign because people like to feel part of some form of community. And it's usually best when that community is, you know, fighting against, you know, the, the big dinosaur industries with their old school ways of thinking. Um, and um, this offer is essentially kind of like leveraging that sort of form of psychology in the specific offer. You see this quite a lot, um, especially on native ads. You see this in the headline, you see this on the landing pages, you see this in the offer pages, as you can see right here. Um, but cool. So as part of my offer research, what I also like to do is I like to leverage the similar web data. All right, and this gives me some insights on some of the website analytics that tells me if the website and the, sorry, the lander for the offer is you know, has a positive momentum or a negative momentum. And we like to join, you know, the, the, 
the curve when it's you know positive right we don't like to go down the negative train when people are slowly stop running the offer or maybe the big affiliates have moved on to a better offer in that same space that indicates that maybe it's not converting as, as well as it used to so um just opening up the similar web chrome extension <coughs> all right and what we can see with this offer here is that we can see a steady um, increase in traffic so it goes from 46,000 in January to 143,000 in February 217,000 in March all the way through to 288,000 um, by April all right what does that tell me okay this is an offer that has millions of you know monthly visits like if you look at some of the diet weightless offers you will see 1 million plus monthly um, website visits However, this still is a good steady flow of traffic and most importantly, that trend line is trending upwards, which means that more and more affiliates are running, are, are running that offer or slash and the existing affiliates who are running the offer are getting so much success that they are scaling out their, their campaign. So they're increasing their budget, they're buying more traffic to send to this offer because obviously it's making them money. That's the only reason why you do that. So that's a good sign. So I like the way that, that this particular offer is trending. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, I was gonna say that. So not all offers have the similar web data. There's a multiple different vary reasons for that, like that vary. Some reasons could be that the site just hasn't, hasn't got enough traffic. Some reasons could be that it's a new site and similar web most likely hasn't indexed the site properly just yet. So um, typically, where you see this with, with ClickBank and the site has like a decent amount of gravity, it indicates that maybe it's a new offer. So smart, smart, powerful. all. Head back to ClickBank. Let's see. Yeah, it says it. New VSL, profitable um, solar energy system, blah, blah, blah. All right, so it's a new offer. So I wouldn't be too worried about this one, if even if there's no similar web data, simply because um, inside of ClickBank, it indicates that yes, this is a new offer. Then we can look at the third offer that we pulled up. Open up similar web. And this one essentially says the same thing. There's not enough data for us to look at. So if I head back to ClipBank and I find that offer. Okay, so it says hot offer, new video slash guide course. All right, so again, this is another new offer. And this is why, um, you know, we're not seeing the um, data from similar web. Maybe this is an existing offer and they've changed their domain and they've changed their VSL, which then it needs to get re-indexed, I would say, by similar web. Um, but yeah, so I wouldn't be too worried about these ones. So what I can then look at is things such as, you know, the average sell because that affects my CPA. Um, you know, it tells me like how much I potentially have to spend on the, for the offer. Um, on the different sites that I'm running with my um, native network. So let's have a look. So this one is $57, this one's $47, and this one is, where is it? Okay, there it is. This one is $47. So they're all pretty much around the similar range. This one clearly is doing really good, um, but I believe that this offer is private. So if I select promote, says this vendor requires affiliates to be pre-approved before being eligible to earn commission promoting their products. Interested affiliates request approval from the vendor at blah, blah, blah. All right. So what this typically means, and you may see this on a few offers, um, typically not really in health, but um, on other verticals on ClickBank, you may see this. And with normal CPA networks, 90% of the good offers are, you know, uh, approval first, right? You have to be approved for the offer to run it. Now, all you need to do in this instance is just click on that link that's on this page here. Um, it's probably gonna send you to like a form or something where you could you know, reach out to the vendor. We're gonna get you, give you an email that you can reach, to reach out to the vendor on and just reach out, let them know your experience, let, let them know like you know how you intend on running the offer, um, that you've looked through their flow, you look through their VSL, that you, and you think that it's a good offer that you can scale. And you know, as long as everything seems good, they will approve you. It shouldn't take that long. It's not, shouldn't be that difficult for you to be approved. What they're just doing is because typically with ClickBank, anybody who has access to the network can run any of the offers. And sometimes some people 
within the ClipBank network as in some affiliates aren't as experienced and they may be sending maybe fraudulent traffic, just crappy traffic, um, or just something that this, this um, vendor doesn't like. So he's trying to, or he or she is trying to um, essentially weed out those affiliates by having this kind of like wall in place, all right? But we're not going to do that right now because it's gonna to take too long and this is a watch me build. So we can look at some of the alternatives. So I believe, believe that this one is available. It's not private, yes, that's available. And I believe so is this one, let's take a look. Okay, cool. And I see that this, this offer here has double the gravity of this offer. So 33, 14. So it means that more affiliates are running the offer and making money with this offer too. So I'll use that as my baseline to say, you know what, I'm gonna start off by running this offer. So what I then need to do is go into volume, start getting things set up inside of there, and then come back over here and grab the affiliate link and add that into volume too. So let me just open up volume right now. Sweet, and I wanna to head to affiliate networks. And this process should be done when you're, you know, you've got, you're first setting up your volume account and maybe you're, or you're, maybe you're running with a new network. What you want to do is you want to select new affiliate network here and you want to choose the affiliate network that you want to run with. Obviously this is ClickBank, so I'll just click ClickBank, next. Sweet. Okay, so you wanna make sure that your tracking domain is set up correctly. So I'll just put that one on. And then cool. All right, cool. And somebody commented on a previous video saying like, no, with ClipBank you use TID um, because on the offers you have a CID that volume pulls up. That's because of the volume integration, right? The TID is still there, but it's there essentially hidden in the code, as you can see here. When we set up the affiliate network, the TID is there. So it's still the normal TID of ClickBank, um, but uh, because of the integration, when we set up the offer and we add the additional part on the end of the offer, which you're going to see in a moment, it's a CID. And that's because of the, the volume in ClickBank integration. It's all completely fine, all right? So I'll go ahead and just press save here. Whoops. I'm not gonna save this. I've already made ClickBank Affiliate Network, so I don't need to save this, but you would go ahead and press save. But I'm just gonna press X because I've already got this set up. And then I want to set up traffic source. We're using obviously Outbrain in this Watch Me Build, so I'm going to set up the traffic source as Outbrain. So go to new traffic source. And let's just search to so Outbrain. I'll just call this test, but it's a test traffic source. And again, you know, all this data has been pulled in by the integration. Typically, if this wasn't there, we'd have to manually go into Outbrain's documentation, you know, copy all of the different parameters, all the different tokens, uh, make sure we don't mess up that entire process and just fuck it up. But um, luckily we have this integration, so sweet, I don't need to do anything. Um, make sure the cost currency matches what your, your cost currency is, and then just go ahead and press save. Sweet. So now we have our affiliate network and our traffic source added. The next thing we want to do is essentially just get our offer added. So I'll head over to offers. Okay, and a new offer. And whilst that's loading up, I'm just gonna go into ClipBank. And which offer are we gonna run? It was this one, right? This one. So I'm just gonna grab the hop link, which is what ClickBank call it, but it's the offer URL, offer link. So generate hop links, copy this. Go back into volume, new offer. Actually, put up the affiliate network first. Okay, so I've selected Affiliate Network and we want to find ClickBank. Oh, there it was. And let's find the offer name. So 
So this is the offer. So smart power for all. That's the offer we are using. Just gonna add that in here. Sweet. Oh, damn. I, I need to go back and copy the offer URL again. Okay, let's copy that. Oops. All right, so copy that offer URL and then paste it in here. Now, this is what I was talking about uh, earlier regarding the URL. At the, end of the, at the end of the URL, it's this CID thing over here, right? So CID equals click ID. So typically you're quite used to using the TID, but with volume, you want to set it up like this because this forms part of the volume and click bank integration. Okay. So let's just do this again. Promo, generate hot links. And then copy. Yes. And paste. Let's wait and see if that worked. Okay, sweet. Question mark. And then we can add this little parameter at the end. For some reason, the volume is being super slow. Okay, so you copy, paste that in there. So let's just wait and see if it's correctly been added. But for some reason, computer, is it my computer or is it just volume? Something's being super slow, causing it to be super slow. Okay, I think we should be fine now. Let's see. Okay, so the question mark was added, but this part hasn't been copied and pasted. Okay, I'm just going to go back here and let's copy that once again. This time I'm going to right click it just to make sure. Wait for this to load up. Okay, and then you can paste that in. Oh wow, that's annoying. <laughs> Let me just undo. Okay, cool. Let's see if that works now. Perfect. And sweet. Sweet. And then go ahead and press save. Okay, great. So we now have our offer added. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to head into Adplexity and essentially take a look at how other affiliates are running offers for this specific offer and just for solar offers in general. Let's, let's see what these other money makers are doing. So yeah, I'm right, right now inside of Adplexity and you can see all these different ads. The majority are obviously health. But let's try and set this up to find some potentially profitable ads in the solar space. And Let's put this in the add info. If you want to find any battery offers or anything like that, this campaign is specifically for solar. Okay, so what I really want to do is I want to take a look at you know the sort of landing pages these other affiliates are using. I'm just gonna open up four, four campaigns, and then we can scan and see what landing pages they're using. Some people may even be direct linking. But hopefully we don't find too many of those because we want to find landing pages. Um, landing pages always boost your ROI. It's very rare that one affiliate uses a lander, one doesn't use a lander, and the affiliate that doesn't use a lander 
has a better ROI than one that does use a lambda. It may be easier, but it doesn't mean in any way that you're going to get a better um, conversion rate by not using a lambda. In fact, the lambda boosts the conversion rate by warming up the traffic and securing some form of micro commitment to where possible. All right, so this affiliate is using a lambda for this, this offer. Let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna head over to the landing page. I actually want to see, you know, what if, what what um, uh, offer this affiliate's promoting. So I'm just gonna click through via his volume link or his tracker link. I don't know if he's in volume. Let's see. We should be able to go to the offer now. Should work. In fact, I think it is working. All right, he's running an easy power plan. Okay, so the good thing is he's running a direct competitor offer. So his lander typically should be relevant for this offer that we're running. However, things like this crazy 45 year old geography teacher, blah, blah, blah. Obviously it's specific to the easy power plan, as you can see here, let's look at the lander. 45 geography teacher, blah, blah, blah. So we wanna make a version that's relevant to this offer, this smart power for all. If I click here to read the text presentation, um, I'm maybe able to extract some information from there. So we've got this dude, Mr. Ryan Tanner. And I just want to see if this is like an alternative to solar. Hmm. Let's take a look at this tech presentation. Typically, I would actually watch the VSLs, but obviously, I'm not going to watch the VSL and a and watch the build because these VSLs can be real long, like 40 minutes. We're not doing that. So, what I'm trying to figure out is is this a, the offer that we're trying to run, is that a solar based solution? So that we can just you know simply extract this like headline from the lambda. So we're seeing like better than solar panels, Tennessee. So if it's if it's an alternative to solar panels, then we can use that headline. But let's just verify that. Yeah, smart. Okay, here we are, there's a product. Let's see, you need the smart solar box. Hmm. <laughs> what is the smart solar? Okay, let's see if this is a similar type of cell. Or DIY solar kit. What are you selling, guys? What's going on? Okay. I think it's a similar product, like a digital product. The idea to buy a DIY solar kit crossed my mind. But when I saw the cost, I changed my mind. Plus, I did research. All right, so what we can do, so when you're in this position where you're not exactly sure, watch the VSL, you find out. But obviously I'm not going to do that because this is a watch me build and I don't want you to watch me watching the VSL for 40 minutes, that'll be weird. So um, what I'm going to do is rather than search purely based on solar, I'm gonna see if I can potentially find affiliates that are running the specific offer just to see if they're advertising in a similar way. If they're advertising in a similar way, then we know that it's a like-for-like -like product. 
and we can use any of these sort of creators ads and landers in our campaign so to do that to find out affiliates are running a specific offer i'll go to buy advertiser Okay, and landing page outgoing URLs. I'm just going to paste in that URL from the lander. It's the offer lander. Okay, so it says no results. Let's just let's just refresh this just in case. Because sometimes that text feed does bug out. We'll find out for sure. Okay, so right now we can't see any affiliate campaigns have been indexed for this specific offer. So then what else, well, the other thing that I can do, it's another smart thing you can do, is with similar web, we can, actually we don't have any similar web data, so we can't do what I was going to do. So let me just show you what I was going to do with another offer. So what you can also do with offers is, with similar web, I can then um, get more insights. So just open this up. So now I'm on the actual similar web website. And what I'm looking for is like referrals. So where is where you know what are some sites are sending traffic to this specific offer? Because I can I can show you some affiliates too. So this is a potential one. Panel energy. Okay, that was not working. Let's see this one. Hopefully we can actually find any affiliates from this one. Because I think they I think the traffic is quite spread. For some offers, like Ted's Woodworking, what you can do is in similar web, check out the referrals area, and you can sometimes see some affiliate offers. So, so some affiliates are sending traffic. If they are very large affiliates sending maybe 10%, 12%, upwards to 20% of the total website traffic from referrals. Um, you can see them, you can just click through and you can find them. But for this offer specifically, um, they don't have that, which is a little bit sad. But anyway, so all we need to do now is just clarify um, essentially how this offer is presented. And if it's presented in a similar way, um, as an alternative to solar, um, then we can essentially you know, use all of this stuff that we found, all this, all this spying material, or well, not this one, all of this, you can use all of these. So I'm just gonna quickly scan through and just clarify that. The only issue is that with ClickBank, sometimes there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of fluff around the actual product. So it's quite difficult to find out what they actually, what, they, what is actually being sold. But I should be able to scan that pretty quickly. So yeah, the smart solar box Blueprints and video guys won't cost you. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's just see where they're at. But still, we want to get this into as many hands. That seems to be the last one. So let's keep going. And this is quite good because when you're actually doing your research uh, for your offer, you need to go through this process. So it's quite good that you can see me going through this as well. So it's obvious instead of paying thousands of dollars on regular solar panel arrays and huge bills. Yes, this is what I was looking for and I believe that I found it. So it's one line, but this one line is basically saying that instead of paying thousands of dollars on regular solar panel arrays, and huge power bills, you can pocket the savings and spend it on more important things. So basically, they're, they're positioning this product as an, an alternative to solar. It's not even solar. It's called Smart Solar Box or whatever it's called, but it's not even a solar-based solution, right? Maybe it's talking about an alternative way where you can leverage solar energy, but it's not the off-the-shelf solar panels that you'd buy, right? So all of these campaigns that we see here, we can use and leverage it in a similar way.
right? But just reposition like some of the net the, the keywords to fit with a specific offer, which is good, right? That's very good. So um, next thing is we want to look through these landing pages. So this is the same number. Is this all the same affiliate? Powerful pages. Yeah, that's the same affiliate. Okay, this is a different one. Let's see this one. Okay, so I'm going to click through on the, the tracking link so I can see the offer as well. So that's important. Sometimes if you're in Adplexity and you click directly on these links, um, you're not going to see the offer. If you click on the button on the offer page, you're not going to see it because you're not clicking through the, the campaign URL. Therefore, the tracker link on the page is just going to just show up with an error. So if you want to make sure you find out the offer because you volume, I'm sorry, because Adplexity is not displaying the offer, make sure you click the tracking link. It's a little tip. All right, so this is another style. Then the solar panels, blah, blah. All right, where's this off? Where's this page going to? What offer? Okay, backyard revolution. Hi. Nope, we're not listening to that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into ClipBank. Backyard revolution. That's another solar panel offer. To be fair, we could have used this offer. And we could still use this offer. And I believe that this offer has definitely has a lot more traction. So what I'm going to do is and let's see if it's um available as well. Let's see. Okay, sweet. I don't know why I missed that one because I guess I didn't read it properly. Alright, cool. So backyard revolution. We're gonna run with this offer because I know this offer has a decent amount of traction. Um, and it's verified. We know there's going to be other affiliates running it. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty certain that if I put this offer into um, Adplexity, I will find other affiliates running it. So let's see if there's any similar web data. I believe there is for this one. Okay, so this one's interesting. So we see a downward trend. So we see um, 173K all the way pushed down to 92K. So like it's almost half the amount of affiliates in the past six months and now running this offer, all right? So um, that indicates that a direct competitor for this offer is doing much better. And as we saw, the offer that's private obviously is doing much better than um, this one, maybe in the conversions. So if I didn't get approved for the first offer, you know, the one that is, you know, approval required, I will run this offer because I know that there's been data, there's been traffic sent to it, it's been verified. I'm not, I'm not going to be part of the traffic that's testing it out for the advertiser, like fuck that. I want to make sure my money is spent in the best way. So I'd run this offer, I'd build out a camp, you know, several campaigns, get some conversions through, and I'd use that as a case study to present to the competitor, right? Um, who has a better conversion rate, blah, blah, blah. All right. And what will happen typically is that this offer, they may improve the VSL, they may do something, some changes, and then in three to six months' time, this offer is now the number one offer, and then we can move back. That's the benefit of being an affiliate. We can constantly just rotate to where the, the most money is being made, right, which is cool. So um, anyway, so we're going to go with this offer. I'm going to go back to Adplexity. I'm going to pop this in. So, and hopefully we get some results. All right, fingers crossed. I'm assuming we will. Okay, cool. So we've got some results already. Perfect. Right, there's always a solution for this stuff. There's always a solution. All right, cool. So I'm going to now close all of the other campaigns. Because now we have the best type of campaigns we spied on. We have campaigns that are specific to the exact offer that we're looking to run. So what I want to do now is let's segment that and put that to receive most traffic. And voila. Okay, cool. Don't know what some of these are doing here. Maybe these are listicles or something. Most likely. All right, cool. So. I'm going to open up a few of these, hopefully not all the same affiliate. And we want to look at the landing page. And uh, where are you? Where are you? Let's see if they're direct linking. Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Okay, cool. So 
show more. We already know that they're running this back to revolution, so we could just click this one. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Decent. After harrowing near death experience, one Florida man set out to change the energy world. Okay, cool. So we can just swipe this because it's for the exact offer. All right, so we'll look at the other landers and see if they're doing similar things. And if so, we can just swipe, swipe. So this is a quiz lander, I can tell already. So I'm not going to open that up because we're not using those landers. Okay, is this the same affiliate? Let's see. Yeah, this is the same affiliate, so I'm gonna close that one down. And it's the same affiliate again. So let's look at some more. Opening up three more now. Hopefully they're all, not all the same affiliate that's just going crazy and just buying all the traffic. Um, but we'll see. Okay. This is the affiliate that was using a quiz lander before. Yeah, as you can see, it's the quiz. Move on. And some of you may be thinking, you know, why don't you want to use a quiz? Um, you know, quizzes could do well. We just don't, we just haven't seen as good as the results with quiz landers. Um, to some of the flows that we create, right? Maybe for other affiliates with their flows, it works well, but for us, it just doesn't work well with native, all right? With Facebook, it does awesome because social, you are in a position where you're used to taking quizzes and stuff, like just for games. But um, with native, we've had a different experience. So this is a different affiliate, sorry, a different page. Well, it's not a different page. Just loaded up different here. That was a lie. So you just gotta keep going through. Hopefully you find another unique lander. And if not, we'll just go with the first one and we'll just rotate the creators. So I've opened up four more campaigns. So we'll see if these are different affiliates now. So, okay. So this is a different URL. So I'm assuming this is a different affiliate with a similar Lambda, which is interesting. Yeah, that lambda's not opening up. Hmm. Okay, so this affiliate's obviously got their lambda set up incorrectly because it's loading up weird. But that does, that lambda did verify that this, the, the first lambda we found is doing well because we've seen it again. And that quiz may have potential, right? Because I've seen that quiz a few times, so who knows? Okay, so this is another one. It's the quiz again. All right. So we're gonna go with this one. I feel confident this one is fine. I've seen this a couple of times as I was doing the quick scans. Um, we may change the creative here. We'll just use like the creative from here. And we can start setting things up. So I'm just gonna save this creative. Can I save it? Yeah, I should be able to save it. We'll just click. Okay, All right, so save that creative. And I want to go to the first lander. Okay, there's no image that we can grab. Okay, cool. So then what I wanna do, where is the offer page? So this is the offer. No, this is not the offer we're running, we're running backyard. That's the old offer we're going to run. This is backyard. I was looking for like a logo, something that I can use for you know, my lander. Let's see. Okay. 
I don't think they're going to have one. Anyway, they don't have one. Well, that's fine. We don't need to use a logo. It's not that, that important. Um, what else do we need? So, image. Okay, cool. So it's Zach, Zach Bennett. That's the name of the, the person in the VSL. Okay, so I'm going to save Zach Bennett's image. I'm going to have this on the lander. So where's Canva? Opening up Canva. This is for another campaign. Put this in. Okay, sweet, there he is. Download. Yeah, save. Okay, cool. And now we can essentially start building the, everything in Landerize. If I open up Landerize, This isn't a campaign we're using right now. If I go to uh, landing page templates, for this style, what's best that what works best is even the previous style that I had, this neutral VSL one. That's what I'd recommend um, for this. Flow. So it works well for pretty much all of ClickBank flows where there's a VSL on the end. So we'll call this backyard rev test. Save that. And if you want to, you can have your own logo added. And then you can just add, it, add that here. But I'm just going to run this without a logo. It should be okay. And the name is Zach Bennett. Modify that, I guess. Um, what else? Update this image. With this one. Okay, so we have that part done. Now let's work on the rest of the lander. So, not that, yeah, rob this one. And this is important, this is where you wanna be testing out your angles, right? So this one is saying, it's positioning it against solar panels. It's saying better than solar panels. Prepper's invention takes country by storm. All right, you can have different angles that you want to run. You can say like um, big energy companies um, are keep keeping this secret, whatever it is, right? But this is where you test out your angles and this has a very big impact alongside the image that you have here. So let's go ahead and grab that image. Sweet, and I'll update the copy so I can grab the copy from here. No, I'm not going into Canva. Where are you? Lander, I there you are. And then edit, paste that in. Okay, sweet. And I think that this lander is pretty much ready to go. So I can go ahead and press this gear icon, head back into volume, head over to this, the gear icon in volume. <laughs> and we want to go to tracking URLs. And this one, copy. And then 
Lander eyes. Paste that in as a destination URL. All right. Then I can go ahead and save. So that lander is complete. Now to grab the URL for the lander, I just go into AWS, head into S3. Okay, Rich T clicks. And what am I doing now? Oh yeah, I need to publish it. I almost forgot. So inside of Landerize, go to my landing pages. Scroll right down to the lander, publish, connect it to the domain, publish. And boom, it should be live on the web now. So if I just refresh this, Battery recontest, awesome. So if I select, oh no, this is the wrong one. It's backyard. <laughs> so backyard revolution test, that's it. And yeah, if I select this, I can copy that. Where did it go? Yeah, so I can then copy this URL. And inside of volume, we can set up the lambda. I'll go to volume, track, landers, and you want to go to new lander, lander, paste in that lander URL. Make sure the tracking domain is correct. So it's telling me that this is the click URL on the, on the lambda. Okay, save. Sweet. So at this point, if I'm split testing elements such as like landing, landing pages or split testing like offers, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and create a flow, but we're not going to be doing that. I'm going to go ahead and just create the campaign. So select new campaign. Tracking advanced. Okay, now let's slow this load it up. I want to select this and just select anything in the workspace. It doesn't really matter. Traffic source is going to be Outbrain. And campaign name could be Backyard. Right. And press next. Double meta. Go ahead and press save. Okay, and we are doing a redirect. Campaign. Let me just double check our set traffic sources, correct? Yeah. Okay. And we're doing a redirect campaign with this domain suite. And this is going to be our campaign URL for Outbrain. So I'm now going to just pull up Outbrain and we can start getting things set up um, in there. So here I have Outbrain. And now we can start building out this campaign. So I want to select add campaign. Let the start over. Cool. 
and we're going to name the campaign. Then you want to set an objective. You have the option to select awareness, traffic, drive traffic to your website by maximizing click from audiences likely to engage your content, increase app installs or drive conversions by optimizing conversions from your target audience. All right. Um, we're just going to do a traffic campaign um, just to generate as many clicks to the lambda as possible. But you can have a deeper campaign set up utilizing conversions, utilizing pixels. But we're going to keep it simple for this campaign. Creative format, we're going to have single. Um, currency, we can leave it as USD. Cost per click is a suggested between 0 0.52 and 1.74. So you can go for 1.21 oops, and see how that goes. And daily budget, set that as whatever your budget allows. I'll keep it at 500. Accelerated, so let's see, day, yes. Schedule. Run continuously. Let's see something. Okay. So I can't edit that right now. But ideally, you don't want to have accelerated just because that means that you're going to spend your budget as quickly as possible. You want to allow the budget to spend evenly throughout the day because there may be a specific time of the day that converts better for your offer. Um, United States. You can do advanced targeting as well without brain. So then we can go here and we can then select like example like health or something. But because this is green energy, you want to do stuff like home improvement. People that are into DIY potentially are people that will be interested in this product. Let's see what else we have. Potentially those views. News. Maybe weather. Uh, natural disasters, because if they are a prepper, then they are ideal. Environment, view that came out of the environment. What else do we have? Air travel, beaches, cruises, hotels, meetings. Nope. Should double check the things in there. Nope. Entertainment. Nothing in particular there. Business and finance. People are into like, you know, saving, that sort of thing. Uh, potentially be interested in this offer because they want to save money. So that's the type of another type of audience that could benefit. So somebody gets into investing, insurance, they may benefit from this because some of the angles are going to be like save money on like electricity bills potentially. All right. Okay, cool. So we've got all our audience all set up there. Nice. We're not going to touch the platform, we're just going to leave that as is, not touch the Wi Fi. Okay, so here we have the option to essentially tap into additional traffic resources. As you can see here, our Outbrain Extended Network allows you to seamlessly tap into Outbrain Discovery technology across a range of native inventory SSPs while leveraging Outbrain user data to reach the audiences most likely to engage with your brand message, right? So you can have that on, or you can have that off, so you can opt out. Um, and that just means that you're not going to be, you know, working with partner partner traffic sources for Outbrain, you're just going to work with their direct, um, you know, publishers, all right? So exclude ad block users. Targeting enables you to exclude users who have ad blocking software installed. We do our best to ensure content isn't served to these users, however, 
when users target specific published sites, we are unable to, de to detect an ad blocker, which may result in a small portion of traffic coming from these sources. So we can have that on high impact. Your content will be run in a single ad, brand exclusive placement across our publisher um, network. So we'll leave that off. It's fine. Sweet. So the majority of this is essentially set up already. The final things you want to do is obviously, you know, connect everything to um, volume correctly. And also you want to have our creatives for the campaign. So like our, our images, our um, headlines, we need to go into the spy tool, confirm all of those details. And then we add everything inside of um, inside of Outbrain, and that's what's going to be super important. All right. So so what we can actually do is we can set this up. Hopefully, if I change the camp, no, I can't change the campaign objective now. Okay, it should be fine. Well, I was going to show you if we. Maybe in one of the next videos, um, I'll set up a conversion campaign and show you how to set up with conversions um, in mind. But um, this is just a very you know, quick run through of how you can set things up. So what I want to do now. Okay, so the suffix, that's going to be the everything in the tracking code um, that isn't the actual URL. So if we go to the campaign stuff, so I'm just pulling open the volume again. Okay, so everything after the question mark is essentially what's gonna be in the suffix. So I'll go to Outbrain. Paste that in and removing all of that. Okay. And if you go to next, I need to add that. Go to next content. Okay, sweet. And now this is where we add in our the front part. We're removing everything after the question mark now. All right. That's it. Then we can put our you know website name. So we could let's say our brand, or not that. Let's say our brand was I don't know um, energy for all. We'd have energy for all there. Then title. This is where we start having our headlines added and so forth. So to, to leverage that, we're going to go inside of the spy tool. And let's copy this. We can grab that image too. I don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Head back into Outbrain, paste that in right there. And let's see if we can go. Nice. Then we can add all the different variations as well. So let's look at some more. Let's see if this is the same headline. No, different headline. Okay. Again, thank you very much. So now we have four, we're seeing all the different combinations appear, all right? So we've got two um, headlines, two images, and they're all pairing now as like different combinations. So this continues to expand the more and more, obviously, you know, variations that we have. So if we just grab this image, you 
I'm going to grab two images. So that one, I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to copy this headline outbreak. Here we are. Paste that in there. And then add these images. Okay, sweet. So now we can see you know, all of these different variations. And this is just with you know having three three images, right? So let's just start from the top. So this one, we've got this one, uh, we've got this one, and oh, sorry, four images, four images and three headlines. And we've got this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. This one. And um, you know when you're going through this process yourself and you know, you're setting everything up, you know, we'd recommend having like around 10 variations of ad copy, uh, five to 10 creators, um, just to maximize the, the chance of you finding a winning combination, right? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And the next thing will be me launching the campaign and it goes into review. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.